guys welcome back to another video and this video i'm going to be unboxing the moi wrm 2020 version so the moi wrm 2020 version is just the upgraded version of the wrm which i still haven't gotten but i'm planning to unbox that sometime but for now we are just going to unbox the 2020 version and here it is and we have the same thing which is just where to get like the cosmic lubes but i already have every single one of them besides nebula so it doesn't really matter so the box for some reason it's warm and it has plastic wrap around it and it is really hard to take out there we go and there we go oh wow okay so we have a lot of things so we have the usual Moi WRM core and the screws with the adjustment with the spring compression and for some reason I cannot take it out so I'm just gonna dump it out so I think we should go ahead and look into this it has tape on it so I'm gonna have to remove that right now oh no it has plastic I thought it was tape it looks very much like tape so let me just remove that and here it is so we have some magnets right here and basically what looks like to be the screw with the spring compression system but I won't really need those so let's just put that back the whatever these things are I guess they're just adjustment tools or something the spring compression tool an extra core and a screwdriver which I have like six already so let's just close this up and we will go to the cube so let's just take it out of this amazing box or I don't know what to call it casing and let's remove the plastic wrapping. There's a lot of plastic wrapping. The first one was on the box. The second one was on the this thing. And then third was on this, on the cube. All right, so here's the cube. It kind of has frosted, frosted plastic, unlike the, the VRM. And it feels pretty light corner cutting 45 degrees a little bit more but let's do some first turns I don't know it kind of feels fast but at the same time it feels pretty slow. I don't know why. And it turns pretty well. And I think it's a little bit smaller than the average 3x3 size. But I don't actually know because I don't have a 3x3 with me. But yeah, it's a pretty good performer. The plastic is a little bit slippery. But if you use this cube a lot, it'll probably, instead of being slippery, it'll actually be pretty, it'll be good to be able to grip on. And I just love turning this cube because of how good it is. And just like WRM, it has the spring compression system. I think the, 
this is where these things come in handy because I can do this. I can just take off the center caps with them. And there we go. Yep. Just the average WR and um, regular version spring compression system, which is actually pretty cool. Even though sometimes simpler is better. And this is actually pretty simple, so this is a better thing. This is a better spring compression system than the GAN XS. So, I'm gonna get my timer, and we're gonna do five solves. Oh wait, before we do that, let's check the pieces. So, here's what the corner looks like. It has some sort of pattern on it. And... It kind of has the same pattern on the edges as well, I think. Because on the box, it kind of has that. And, yep. So, let's just put this back in here. If I can, because this is really hard to put back in. I'm just going to put it in later so i'm gonna go get my timer and we are going to do five solves okay so i have my timer and i put the piece back in the cube and we will start scrambling all right so Here's the cube scrambled, and we will begin. There we go. That was a pretty good solve. 24.44. That was actually a pretty good solve. Now let's move on to the second one. Okay, so here's our cube scrambled. And we will begin. That was not a good solve, especially since I messed up the Z perm. So moving right along to our third solve, and just like every single unboxing video, I will give my final conclusions. My final conclusion after the five solves. Because I don't think you should be overshooting on a cube because that is not gonna help your solve at all. All 
right? And we will do our first solve. Final conclusion on this cube is if you use it a lot, the plastic will get a more of a grip feeling than a slippery feeling, and it's actually a pretty decent upgrade over the regular WRM. And I definitely recommend this cube only if you're able to buy it for $35 on Speed Keep Shop. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.